Alrighty, so let's get started on that little exercise about tangents. So we have a curve, y equals 10x squared plus x, and the question is find the tangent to the curve at x equals 2. So we know this is going to look like you know, skinny quadratic. Uh, the tangent to be some linear line that looks like Something like that. And that's going to be of the form. Y equals MX plus C, right? It's a linear equation. It's going to be of the form Y equals MX plus C. So what do we know about this tangent line? We know two things. We know its gradient is going to be the same as the gradient of the curve. That's the first important thing, and we'll come back to that in a second. And the second important thing is that at this point here, it takes on the same value as the curve at x equals 2. Alrighty, so to figure out that first bit of information, which is the gradient, to get this part of our uh, tangent line. So I'm going to write this down again. So the function is y equals... 10x squared plus x. Therefore, the gradient function, or the derivative, y dash, equals 20x plus 1. <coughs> there we go, got it in focus. Even better. So now what we need to do is evaluate this. Uh, I'll get that back in shot. So we've got to evaluate what the gradient of the curve and this line are going to be at the point x equals 2. Right. So what is the gradient at x equals 2? Y dash of 2. This is easy. We just sub it in. 20 times 2 plus 1 equals 41. So that means the gradient or the steepness of the li this line and this curve at this point is going to be 41. So Therefore, the gradient is equal to 41. You can even write this in here. Y equals 41 x plus c. <coughs> so now that we've found out this is what the equation is, we need one more thing to define this line, which is whereabouts is this line? Because you can see the line could be, that line could be anywhere up and down here without defining what our c is. But we can find what that is because we know the value that the function takes on at this point. Right, so let's go ahead and find out what value that takes on. I'll do it here next to this one. So the value of the function at x equals 2 is 10 times 2 squared plus 2. I 
think that should be uh, 42. Okay, so that means this here, da, 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 that height is y equals, oh, you can't see that. is y equals 42. That's the visual meaning of what that means. So we know that this curve passes through y equals 42 and this curve. So that's what we can use to find c. <coughs> okay. So finally, We have our uh, tangent equation, y equals 41x plus c. So with this we can sub in two things. We can see from this equation that the point we're sorry, the point we're talking about is at x equals two, and the y value the graph the function takes on that point and the tangent is y equals forty two. So I'll just go right right ahead and sub that in forty two equals forty one times x is 2 plus c. So that's 42 equals, what's that, 82 plus c. c equals 42 take 82. What's that? Uh, negative 40, I think. Yeah. Negative 40. Therefore, this is the whole equation. The tangent, I'll just call it the tangent line. I won't write out the tangent line to the curve, etc. The tangent... is given by y equals uh, 41x plus, oh sorry, plus negative 40, minus 40, y equals 41x minus 40. And that is the equation of this line here. Now I'm going to go right ahead and graph these things on my calculator so we can see if it's right. There's a bit of a check. You could do this on your exam if you have a graphics calculator. Um, y equals 41 x take 40. Yeah, perfect. That looks kind of like what I had there. Good stuff.